Group. And with us now here live in Philadelphia, Daily Show host Trevor Noah. He's been covering his first American presidential election. That's the loudest applause that anybody's received today. That's fun. Trevor, it's so interesting that you're here now live with us listening to Hillary Clinton address veterans. Donald Trump asserts that he is leading among vets. But this is the candidate who said that John McCain was not a war hero yes. because he got caught. Yes. How do you make sense of, from your perspective of what's happening in our country? I think that's the biggest mistake is we're still trying to make sense of something that is complete buffoonery. Donald Trump doesn't make sense. And the more you try to make sense of it, the less sense it's going to make. Uh, we have, uh, I think, gotten to the point in a campaign where Unfortunately, there is somebody who is um, a clown, who's a dangerous clown, but he's managed to ramp up the rhetoric and I think through a crazy, crazy primary, got to the point where he is now the Republican nominee and uh, a lot of Republicans, instead of saying, hey, I'm going to step away from this, this, have decided to choose their side, which is no longer technically their side. And so that's why you have uh, Donald Trump saying these things. It's, it's ridiculous. You've had some incredible things to say about Donald Trump, including what you just said. But there are people who process that, and, and you've observed our country, they process that, process that as a intellectual liberal Northeast view now that you live in the Northeast, and not a message that resonates with everyday voters who might say, I am afraid. Donald Trump is leading now in at least one national yes. poll today. Uh, look, at the end of the day, Americans have to reckon with one thing, and that is you have created a political system where it has to be one or the other when in fact it isn't, especially in this campaign. Donald Trump is not a Republican. True Republicans will tell you that. So essentially, you should have a Republican candidate who is still running, but now Donald Trump has taken that all up. It's a winner-take-all situation. Um, Hillary and Bernie are not on the same platform, but they're forced to run in the same camp. And the truth is, if you had a system where you had multiple parties, you would see this, but because you cannot, you have to force everybody to go into two camps, and those two camps have to oppose each other. So when you're picking a side, you're lumped in with with everybody else who may not have the yeah. same views that you have and then yeah. you may be fighting a, a battle that you know you don't want to be a part of but every four years we have this huge conversation over the yes. third party candidate could you know this person come in and and dare I say save the day if that's your perspective Michael Bloomberg was supposed to be that person yep. he's got the cash but he didn't have the will to get in so are we at a permanent standstill from your observation? This could be the year. You never know. A lot of people are afraid of Donald Trump. A lot of people don't want to vote for Hillary. This could be the year. The more parties you have, the better, you know? Um, so, because otherwise you're in a place where it's, it's just, it's never going to end. The country's becoming more divided. People are hunkering down even more in what they believe. And now you're in a situation where you're forced to make sense of what is honestly ridiculous rhetoric. I, I'm speaking as somebody that comes from another country and has lived in many different places in the world. Donald Trump is a frightening thing to the world. Okay. This is not even about American politics anymore. This is about the world. But the frightening uh, rhetoric also came out of leaders in the UK, which is why we got Brexit. And this fear of immigrants is the very same message that Donald Trump, Marie Le Pen, is the Donald Trump. But it was less frightening because that was an internal thing. Brexit was about England yeah. and British people saying, we want to be of our own. Now, it was and that regressive. And we are afraid yes, of immigrants. Yes, it was regressive, yeah. but it wasn't someone actively going out there. If you ask any of the Brexiters, I doubt they would say, we need to disband NATO. Mm -hmm. I doubt they would say, Vladimir Putin is the person we need right. to be following. I doubt they would say the words bigly. So I think at the end of the day, you, you have a very different situation. Donald Trump's not a politician, and everyone treats him as one. He has managed to, to sneak in, yeah. you know? He has, he has done, uh, I, I think, what Donald but Trump ha has been afraid that people do. He has managed to get across the border, even yeah. though there are controls in place normally politically. But you know you help him when you say he's not a politician. That's exactly what he wants to put as his make America great again, dot, dot, dot. I'm not a politician. I'm an outsider. Yeah, but that's exactly what he is. We're not helping him. He's helping himself by doing what he's doing. Yeah. America has, has helped Donald Trump in so many ways. The GOP helped Donald Trump, setting up a system that enables him to fear monger. And yeah. for years, people have said, our military yeah. is down. We've got the weakest military. No, you do not. America has the strongest military the by powerful. far, the most right. powerful military in the world. So for years, this has been what people have right. been laying out. The okay. groundwork has been laid for Donald Trump. They've helped him yeah. to get to this place. So you took over The Daily Show September 28th of last year. Could you have written this script? Could you no. have made this up? 
No. I, I did say that Donald Trump was going to win the nomination, though. And, and what are said, you saying after people that? People said I was a mad person. And, and I was, will he win the general election? I don't believe so, no. I think America is too optimistic. I think Donald Trump is too okay. divisive. Okay. I think uh, he's a man who doesn't represent the views of most Americans. And so I think when it comes to a general election, he'll expose himself. Well, you're pretty awesome. You've been fantastic. Thanks for dealing with the heat Thank here. you. I'm, I'm impressed you guys do this outside. <laughs> and like, these guys are amazing for here. standing out here. Yes, they stood in line it is to really see you. Hot. Thank this you, is impressive. Trevor. Thank we'll you. see you around. Okay. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.